Hey guys, coming at you today with a delicious chocolate cupcake recipe. But some of you asked, so we are making it into Keto Black Forest Cupcakes. Perfect for Christmas dessert. So let's get started. First off with uh, Black Forest, we gotta talk cherries. Uh, this is the only thing I could find in the frozen section, sweet dark cherries. But I know there's sour cherries out there and we're going to be sweetening them anyways. So if you can find the sour ones, they're less carbs. We're going to be using two portions of this. So 24 for five ounces. So we're going to be using, we're going to actually be using less than that. We're only going to be using eight ounces. So whatever you end up using is what your carb count's going to be. With these doing only eight ounces, they're three to four each, depending on how many you get out of the cake batter. But we are sweetening this with allulose and making a cherry filling for our cupcakes. We need eight ounces cherries. Basically, you're gonna be able to put like two cherries in each cupcake. So you can count out if you want, 48, so 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Is it extra ounce? Not even. Maybe a couple extra grams if you want to count it. Now, basically when I make jam, I do eight ounces of fruit and three quarters of a cup of allulose. Add a tiny bit of water to it. Not a lot, because these are frozen, so. But you do want a nice amount of juice to go into your cupcakes, too. So we're going to cook this until it is a thick syrup. Show you when I take it off. So let that stew down for a little bit while we make our cupcakes. So this is a version of my red velvet cupcakes. We're just adding a little bit extra cocoa powder and obviously no red food dye. So 12 ounces of oil. You can also do butter instead. Just make sure it's really soft. I have four eggs warming in some warm water. We need 240 grams of a one-to-one -one sweetener. I'm using Monkfruit Erythritol, 240 grams. I'm gonna whip that up, add in our four eggs, alternate buttermilk, dry ingredients. Instead of the water and dye, we just put in a little bit extra buttermilk. Now for the dry ingredients, I'm going to have everything up on the screen for you. My usual mix, I'm using chocolate whey protein. If you don't use that, use regular. Take out a couple tablespoons and add in some extra cocoa powder. And you might need to add a little bit more sweetness to your batter because there is extra sweetness added to your flavored protein powders. Need 10 ounces of buttermilk. We're gonna need two more teaspoons of this to go into our baking soda. Normally you'd add two teaspoons of vanilla to this. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of cherry. Again, this is not good in large quantities. Just use a tiny bit in there just to enhance the flavor a tiny bit. One teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm gonna put a tiny bit into here too, like a half teaspoon. It smells good. Then the taste, if you use too much, it tastes like Robitussin. Robitussin, it's almost there. I'm gonna add in our four eggs that are room temperature, hopefully. Ooh. I've been really bad lately with getting shells in here. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just worse coordination or what, but cracking into something else first. <laughs> I'm gonna let this go for a minute and get our pan ready and then we'll alternate the buttermilk and dry ingredients together. Okay, this is what it's looking like. Once it cools, it's gonna get a lot thicker. So I think I'm gonna take this off the heat and get it in the fridge to chill. Heat proof container, guys. We got about a cup 
juice and liquid. Okay, we need our pans. So we're gonna do 24. We're also gonna bake these at 350. I think we'll do red and green for Christmas. Okay, let's finish our batter. scrape down well so make sure you get down in there scrape it all up get it all mixed in and mix in our baking soda okay now time to scoop I use the bigger set the middle bigger set of scoops and normally I 30 I'm going to try to get just 24. I'm going to fill them up a little bit more. We don't have enough filling for 30 cupcakes. I figured out the macros for 24. Okay, maybe pretty good. We got a little bit of batter left. Maybe I could have gotten one more. Time to go in the oven. I don't usually do them in this oven here, so I got to... I think it's gonna be like 16 minutes. So eight, turn eight. I'm gonna give it one more minute. Firm up a tiny bit more. If they don't cook long enough, they'll sink in the middle. Okay, just pull them out. They gotta cool before we can fill them and top them with a whipped cream topping. Aren't these the prettiest keto cupcakes ever? They're so good. Now we got to punch a little hole in the middle. And keep the scraps and use them as cake balls. Put them in your freezer for when you do other filled cupcakes or what have you. They apparently sell a tool, but I don't have one. So I'm using a big tip. And then we need something to get it out with. You want like that big a hole. <laughs> Come on. Mount. This cake is so moist and delicious. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like super soft. And this is just one way of doing it. You can just put the cherries on top also. They kind of make it like just drizzling off the sides kind of thing. I like having it inside. Oh, and these were a hit at my baby shower. There's only a couple left at the end. We had like four desserts. <laughs> Time to fill them. Basically, I'm just trying to get two little cherries in each and then I'm gonna go through and fill them with all the liquid that I have left. Now we gotta make the whipped cream topping. And I've shown this in multiple videos so I'm not gonna explain it but you temper your gelatin in with the whipped cream otherwise your whipped cream will be weepy within like 20 or 30 minutes. Okay, so I'm doing two cups of whipped cream here, 60 grams of powdered sweetener, a little bit of vanilla extract, and then I have two teaspoons of bloom gelatin. Okay, now into a piping bag fitted with 
Whatever tip you want. Okay, so maybe two and a quarter cups of whipped cream will do you. All depends on how much you put on each one. Final touch, usually black forest cake has a bunch of chocolate shavings all over it. I'm just using Lily's dark chocolate. It's the only one I have that's like regular pretty much. And I'm using my microplane because you use a box grater too. And shaving. A bunch of chocolate shavings. Cupcakes. Time to try one. Hey, here's mine. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna cut it in half. Cherry center. Give it a try. Try not to make a mess. Okay. Pretty delicious. Just this chocolate cupcake recipe is amazing. And I top it with so many different flavored buttercreams and I make my caramel sauce and drizzle that on. Possibilities are endless with this chocolate cupcake recipe. It's so soft and moist. Mm. So good. My mom's favorite. It's my father-in-law's favorite. I have people come in to grab my chocolate caramel cupcakes. So soft. Just with the buttercream frosting, they're one net carb. With the cherry and the whipped cream, they're three net carbs. So really not bad at all. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. If you do, let me know in the comments below. What is gracing your Christmas dessert table this year? Don't forget to check out my Amazon links and the blog link to the full recipe in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll be back with many more keto dessert recipes. Bye, guys.